Are you tired of the traffic jams? Tired of spending all your money on gas? Let me introduce you to a better option, Hate Bike City Run Electric Bike. This bike is like no other bike. With its 500 watt motor, four to five hours worth of charging time, you can go up to 55 miles per charge. Compatible with all kinds of road conditions, this bike helps you get around from A to B with no trouble at all. Its hydraulic brakes make the braking distance of average 50% shorter than that of a regular bike. One of my challenges as a heavy set woman is having the confidence to actually ride a bike without worrying about either breaking the seat or the pedals. One thing I love about this Hay Bike City Run electric bike is that it can hold up to 350 pounds and it doesn't even make my butt hurt. It also comes with an option to get a bag for the rear rack. Now this rack can hold up to 120 pounds worth of weight, which I think is fantastic if you need to travel and you're using this to store your things. I love that it has blinkers that you can show if you're turning left or turning right, just to help people know where you're going. One thing about vehicles is that they're always breaking down and you know the mechanics are always coming up with some kind of way to raise the prices. And then there's always taxes that are due and all the bills that just add up from owning a car. And the average cost of owning a vehicle in 2022 was $10,000. That's a total of $28.41 per day just to own a vehicle, whereas this electric bike will only cost you $4.26. Another th feature I really like about this bike is its kickstand. It's very sturdy and has no problem being able to support the weight of the bike. I always like to get on my bike and then kick off the kickstand. The height recommendation for this bike is five feet four inches to six feet five inches. I happen to be five foot two and a half, but it still works for me just fine. Another great feature about this bike is that you can control how much electric power it goes. So how much of the pedaling is you and how much of the pedaling is the bike. So you can do one all the way up to five and that depends on how much effort you put into the bike and how fast you want to go. I found on roads where it's really bumpy and stuff to go a little slower, but then once you're on a straight smooth path, you can go really fast. And guys, this bike went up to 20 miles per hour. Like I think that's insane how fast that could go. I was just enjoying the breeze. There's nothing like taking a nice bike ride with beautiful scenery. Poor Jack was getting quite the workout as well, chasing me around, watching me enjoy this beautiful bike. I definitely am glad that I got a chance to review this bike, and I hope you guys check it out. I know I'm going to be enjoying all Montana has to offer with this bike in my hands. That's, the, that's definitely the most exercise I've had in a while. That was awesome. I like that it could get really fast, so when you have a clear road... Excuse me for my panting. But when you have a clear road, then you can go really fast and it helps. You're still pedaling, but it's like doing half the work, making you go faster than you normally would on your own. I like that it has a cool little horn. <laughs> it's got lights. I can go fast. I could go slow. When you go fast, though, watch out for them potholes. It'll, it'll send you flying. Not that I did that. <clears throat> oh boy. I'm okay. Yeah. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Everything's under control. But wow. What an amazing bike to have. If this is the kind of bike that interests you, I hope you go check them out. I can really see enjoying this bike and getting one for my whole entire family. Holy moly. Yeah.